welcome on the fourth session of marginal costing in the last video we have discussed two practical examples of marginal costing with different points in this video today we will discuss some new examples of marginal costing see the example purvi limited provides the following information month february march sales it is given in the units 1200 and 1600 profit and loss is given in the first month minus 2400 it shows the loss 2400 in the month of march plus 1600 so it shows profit rupees 16800 selling price per unit rupees 120 find out fixed expenses break even point in units sales required to earn profit of rupees 48000 and it is also in the units so first we will make a required calculations so here sales is given in the unit but uh, per unit selling price is given so first we will calculate sales for the month of march and sales for the month of february so see the calculation of sales in the february 1200 multiply 120 so rupees 144000 in the month of march 1600 multiply 120 so it is rupees 1 lakh 92000 so the change in sales rupees 48000 second we will calculate change in profit so we will compare the profit of the february and march so in the february it is loss 2400 in the march it is profit 16800 so the net difference is 19200 see here in the first month loss is given and in the second month the profit is there so whenever we want to calculate the change in profit it makes the total of this two so here it is 19200 third calculation it is for the profit volume ratio so pvr is equal to change in profit divided by change in sales multiply 100 so here the change in profit 19200 change in sales it is 48000 so the pvr is 40% so now we are able to give the answers one by one first fixed expenses so the formula for fixed expense is sales multiply pvr minus profit here we have two years sales available so we can consider any one we will consider here from the second month so sales 192000 multiply pvr 40% minus profit of the march 16800 so the fixed expenses are rupees 60000 now second break even point first we will calculate break even point in rupees so the bp is equal to total fixed expenses divided by pvr total fixed expenses 60000 divided by pvr 40% so the bp in the rupees 150000 now we have to calculate in the units so selling price per unit is given so directly we can divide by per unit selling price so bp in the units is equal to rupees 150000 divide by 120 so it is 1250 units if we want to calculate bp in the rupees from units then multiply by per unit selling price if we want to calculate bp in the units from rupees then it is divided by per unit selling price 
नेक्स्ट सेल्स रिक्वायर्ड टू अर्न प्रॉफिट ऑफ रुपीज फोर्टी एट थाउजेंड एंड इट इज ऑल्सो इन द यूनिट्स इन द मार्जिनल कॉस्टिंग वी विल अप्लाई द फॉर्मूला फॉर दिस इज एक्सपेक्टेड सेल्स इज इक्वल टू एफ प्लस पी डिवाइड बाय फी बी आर सो हियर फिक्स एक्सपेंसिस सिक्सटी थाउजेंड प्लस प्रॉफिट फोर्टी एट थाउजेंड एंड पी वी आर इज फोर्टी परसेंट सो द एक्सपेक्टेड सेल्स रुपीज टू लैख सेवेंटी थाउजेंड इट मीन्स इफ यू वॉन्ट टू अर्न प्रॉफिट ऑफ रुपीज फोर्टी एट थाउजेंड वी हैव टू मेक सेल्स ऑफ रुपीज टू लैख सेवेंटी थाउजेंड एंड दिस इज इन द रुपीज बट वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट इन द यूनिट्स सो अगेन डिवाइड बाय पर यूनिट सेलिंग प्राइस सो एक्सपेक्टेड सेल्स इन द यूनिट्स इज इक्वल टू टू लैख सेवेंटी थाउजेंड डिवाइड बाय वन ट्वेंटी सो इट इज टू थाउजेंड टू हंड्रेड फिफ्टी यूनिट्स नाउ वी विल डिस्कस नेक्स्ट एग्जाम्पल following particulars are obtained from the records of sweni limited selling price per unit rupees 20 variable expense per unit rupees 12 total fixed expenses rupees 60000 from the above information find out number 1 sells to earn profit of rupees 30000 in the units sell to make loss of rupees 30000 in units Sales required to earn profit of rupees four per unit in the units, and sales required to bear loss of rupees four per unit, and it is also in the units. Now you you see in this example, first it is the profit total rupees thirty thousand. Second, loss rupees thirty thousand. It is also total. But the third and fourth question. it is for the profit and loss per unit so these are the new point in this example we will discuss first answer expected sales is equal to f plus p divided by s minus v so fixed expenses are 60000 plus profit rupees 30000 divide by s minus v so it is 20 minus 12 so the expected sales 11250 units it means if company wants to earn profit rupees 30000 company has to make sales for 11250 units next uh, sales to make loss of rupees 30000 and it, it is also in the units so same formula expected sales is equal to f minus l divided by s minus v so fixed expenses 60000 loss 30000 divided by s minus v so it is 20 minus 12 so expected sales 3750 units now the third point is very important here sales required to earn profit of rupees 4 per unit here the profit is given per unit and we have not the sales units so first we will assume sales units so sales units is equal to x so total profit it is 4x because per unit profit is 4 and the sales units are x so the total profit is 4x now the same formula we will apply here expected sales is equal to f plus p divided by s minus v so sales we have assumed x is equal to fixed expenses 60000 plus profit 4x divided by s minus v as it is 20 minus 12 so 8x minus 4x is equal to 60000 so x is equal to 60000 divided by 4 so x is equal to 15000 units and x we have assumed for the cells so cells is equal to 15000 units it means if company wants to earn profit rupees 4 per unit 
company has to make sales for 15000 units now next sales required to loss of rupees 4 per unit again here the loss is given per unit so we have to assume sales units is equal to x so total loss is equal to 4x again we will apply the same formula expected sales is equal to f minus l divided by s minus v so x it is for the sales is equal to 60000 fixed expense minus 4x it is the amount of loss divided by 20 minus 12 so 8x plus 4x is equal to 60000 so x is equal to 60000 divided by 12 so x is equal to 5000 units so we can say sales is equal to 5000 units it means if company has a loss rupees 4 per unit the sales is 5000 units so in this video we have explained two examples in the next video we will discuss some more examples of the marginal costing so take care